Hi everyone and welcome to Studio the Sword. My name is Lina and today's video is going to be another episode about polymer clay. Today I want to show you how you can create a smaller plate using polymer clay. So let's get started. If you want to support me and my channel, don't forget to hit the red button, like this video, leave a comment down below and let's keep going. For today's project, I'm going to be using leftover scraps from the polymer clay. As I say all the time, I never toss any like leftover scraps from the projects and I'm just saving them up in a container. And sometimes, once in a while, they saved up and that's, I think, not even the whole amount of all of the leftovers that I have. But if you want to create this plates out of the regular new clay, you definitely can. For me, it's just like one more way of reusing the polymer scraps. And it's very important for me that none of the polymer clay scraps go into waste. As you can see, I'm sorting out the clay by the colors. And also I'm sorting some by like a random colors in amount if I have like such a tiny bit of like red color or some colors that don't match I'm gonna combine them all together and mix completely mix all the colors to have one color Here, for example, if you have colors that complement each other and match, you can leave them and just mix them a little bit just to push colors together. Because if you don't mix them, it's gonna also create uh, interesting patterns. But since I have different colors and too many of them, I decided to mix the colors completely. And as you can see in the end, I'm getting gray, purplish colors. And as you can see, the green pile, I'm not going to be mixing too much just because I like the combination of the colors. So as you can see, I end up having three sheets and it's going to be two different plates. As for the green one, I decided to do a monstera leaf out of that scraps and for that I'm flattening the piece since it's a little bit bigger than my pasta machine I'm flattening it by myself using rolling pin and now I need the paper stencil for the monstera leaf and for that I'm just using a paper approximately measuring the size of the future plate and also of the piece of clay making a draft of paper cutting it out and then applying on the piece of clay and using a craft knife i'm also cutting out All right, and now to give the shape to the future plate, I'm putting it into the bowl. I'm 
making sure it's all even. Also, I'm adding a few additional holes just to make it a little bit more interesting. And I'm sending this plate to bake for almost an hour. And here's the second way of creating the plate. I'm flattening one of the pieces, again using lone paint, cutting out the even circle, making sure that all of the edges are even and smooth. And then I'm also putting this little plate into the bowl. Now I'm taking the second piece of the clay. Also, I'm taking really light aluminum wire. I'm, I want to create a crystal looking pieces. And for additional support, I'm adding those aluminum wires inside of the clay. I slice five different pieces of different length. Also twisted a little bit the bottom just to have an um, extra support in the bottom. Now applying the wire on top of the clay and then covering with a second piece of clay and doing that with all of the pieces. Now I'm just making sure that the clay is stuck from the wire pushing it and pressing it the clay and after that I start kind of peeling to create the crystal texture because you know the crystals have uneven texture and it's more of like a raw shapes so it's never even it's imperfect and that's what I'm trying to achieve crystal looking pieces already. I start attaching them to my little plate, but I'm using also liquid polymer clay just to have a better clutch with the surface. I'm also pushing the crystals into the base since the plate is still raw, it's sticking pretty well. I attach all of my crystals and now I just want to add a tiny little pieces next to them. Here's how my plate with crystals looks like and it's time to bake it. I'm baking the piece for an hour. And here are my baked pieces. As you can see, it separates easily from the plate and this is the monsterly how it looks like. For the monstera plate, I'm not doing much. I'm just adding a little bit of the, I'm adding a little bit of the golden marker on the edges. For the plate with the crystals, I decided to sand the edges a little bit. After that, I'm spray painting this uh, crystal plate with the spray paint with the mirror glaze effect and leaving it to dry for 24 hours. And here's my final results. Let me know in the comments below if you like this tutorial. Also, share with me if you know any other ways of reusing polymer clay scraps. And this is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share with me in the comments below if you like this tutorial. Also, don't forget to hit the red button, like this video, and we see each other in the next video.